One of the pests that I have in my garden, and that you may have too, are leaf miners. They attack chard and beets. And I want to show you some of the damage that they do so you can first identify uh, what pest you have. Here's a leaf that I picked earlier today. It happens to be a beet leaf. And you can see these sort of brown trails across the leaf, which indicate where the, the larvae has been feeding on the leaf interior. Sometimes that damage can be even more extensive. This happens to be a charred leaf. And when the damage gets too extensive, it makes the leaf almost unusable. Fortunately, interestingly today, I found a plant that actually has an active larvae in it. And you can see it if you look closely here by my fingernail, the larvae is actually moving through the leaf right now, feeding on the plant material between the upper and lower surface. The adult version of this insect is a fly. And to understand how to control the pest on your plants, you need to understand a little bit about the life cycle. The life cycle of this pest is that the adult fly comes in and lays its egg on the bottom of the plant leaf. The egg hatches in the larvae, eats its way into the leaf, and then feeds on the tissue between the upper and the lower surface. Eventually, um, it matures, uh, gets as big as the larvae is going to get, and then it drops to the ground and pupates in the ground where it stays for a while before it hatches again or emerges again into an adult fly and the cycle continues. There are various ways you can control pests in the garden, including biological, cultural, and chemical means. Um, I actually happen to use a cultural method on my uh, pest control for my uh, leaf miners, and that cultural method is to use floating row covers. Floating row covers are just a light fabric that you can buy at um, nurseries and hardware stores. It comes in large sheets, usually 10 by 20 or 6 by 20, some, some fairly large sheet. And you can leave them over the plants because both air, sunlight, and water go through the fabric. To make my fabric easier to handle, and because my rows are fairly short, I've attached one end of it to a wooden pole. You could use a two by four or two by two or some other piece of wood. These happen to be old wooden stakes, round stakes that I have. And I just used a staple gun to staple the fabric on in various places to keep it in place. So then I can just pull it over my plants and pull it back. And then there's also some fabric over the edges that keep the edges sealed. And I put some rocks, you may have seen me taking some rocks off the edges that keep the edges sealed to keep things from going underneath it. And what this does by using row covers, I break up the life cycle of the fly. So the row covers keep the adult fly from coming in and laying its eggs on the plant leaves. And so you can see these are charred plants that I've been growing. In fact, right there is probably a fly that's already found one of the charred plants um, and is thinking about laying an egg. So I'll have to be careful when I put it back to make sure that there are no um, active insects underneath it. Um, in addition to that, you want to check in any case underneath the floating row cover from time to time to make sure there's no damage because um, there could be pupae in the ground that have not emerged yet, and if they emerge underneath the row cover, then the flies will be able to, if they find a mate, be able to mate and produce eggs and, and continue the cycle underneath the row covers. So you do want to check from time to time uh, underneath your row covers, but it's been fairly successful. These plants, before I covered them, had extensive damage, and they've been covered now for two or three weeks, and the, there's almost no damage whatsoever uh, on the plants anymore. Another way to control them culturally is from year to year, in the fall, the last generation of the leaf miners uh, pupate in the, in the late summer, early fall, and fall to the ground and overwinter. Tilling the soil in the fall will help disrupt that cycle and make the um, conditions less desirable for the pupae to survive over the winter. So that's one way that you can control a pest that may attack things in your garden, including beets and chard, by using floating row covers to disrupt the life cycle of the fly. And I'm gonna shoo this one away <laughs> before I put the floor, the cover back on. 
So that's one way to control uh, pests in your garden using non-chemical methods, uh, using floating row covers as a cultural method to keep leaf miners off your chard and beets.